Next, let's look at parent and child relationships between multiple browser windows. So we know that we can create multiple browser windows in a single app and they'll behave completely independent of each other. So let's do that quickly. I'll add a second variable to the global scope and call it child window, even though I'll just launch this as an independent window to begin with. Create the browser window and I'll change the size slightly for this one. Load a new HTML file, which we'll create in a second. Call it index underscore child.html. And finally, create a listener for the close event on that second browser window. Create that index underscore child.html file. And just copy the contents from the original index.html. Make the background blue in this case and that h1 heading to hello world from child window. Okay, first let's launch this without setting that new browser window as a child of the main browser window. And we see them both loaded, focusing and moving around completely independently of one another. Now, to make this a child window of the main window, we can set the parent parameter in the child window constructor to main window. So we're stating that this window, child window, has a parent window, which is that main window. Launch the app again, and this time, whilst I can move this child window around freely, when I move the parent window, the child window stays on top and has to essentially obey and follow its parent. This parent-child relationship carries over into other events, like closing the parent window, for example. I'll close that and we see the child window being closed as well. There's also the option to create a modal window out of this child window by setting the modal parameter to true. And this time the child window is more of a fixed contextual drop down inside that parent window. It's worth reading the platform notices when creating a modal window, however, as they will behave significantly different on each platform. For example, to better demonstrate the contextual drop-down nature on Mac, let's incorporate that ready-to-show event in this modal window. Say, show false. Add that event listener as before, this time listening on the child window. And load in some remote content so we can better see the event triggering. I'll just say HTTPS stackacademy.tv. Launch the app. We see the main window and then its contents. And a moment later, once that remote content is loaded successfully in the modal window, it drops down. So as you can see, this could be a great way to maybe prompt the user for some input or display content not directly relevant to the content in the parent window.